Now that's nice and smooth, so that's pretty well finished. Uh, what I'll be doing next is I'll scribe a line here and then I'll be cutting an offset angle so that we can put a fly cutter in. Uh, you know, that'll be fly cutter there, but that's the tool that goes in. That'll be a 12 by 12 mil. Got 11.65 on there at the moment. I didn't realise that the camera wasn't on when I did the whole section there, so it's virtually just the tail end of it now. Alright, at the moment we've got 12.06 and I'll leave it at that for the moment. Um, I'll go and see if I can dig up a 12mm uh, a tool to see if it'll actually fit in there. Anyway, that is the tool that's going in. I think you can see that. Now, that tool, after all the mucking around, actually goes in there. There's no side slop or anything like that. It's a reasonably good one. Um, if we take that out to, like if we've got two bolts there for example, we can go out to that point there. Anyway, if we go to say halfway through or thereabouts, that will give us uh, approximately, yeah about 93.46 mil radius. So that will give you 180 mil radius. If we bring that right in, That will give us, well, around about 56 radius, which is, uh, you know, it's 112 mil, uh, which is uh, quite a good little cutting area as it's spinning around. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come that way, which is towards this outer edge, probably about 12, 13 mil. Then I'm going to cut all this out, leave that shouldered so I can turn around and put at least three bolts in there to hold all that in.
Yeah, that's on 1603 at the moment. I'll just leave it at that, I think. I've got some uh, screws like that going in there. So that will fit in there. So it's, it's pretty thick. There's a lot of room for tightening up. I'll probably put one, two, three in there. I can put four, but I think three should be good enough. Uh, what I'll do, I'll clean up all the edges, get, get rid of all the burrs and everything. Then what I'll do, I'll have to set it up so that is facing that way to the top so I can drill the holes and then tap them. All right, as you said at the moment, so I'll turn the actual jig on its side here. So we're going to put three bolts in here. And then uh, once the three bolts in, then we can put this back in there and bolt it up sort of thing. Um, at the moment, I've used my V block and a couple other blocks to hold that there. This part's free. I can't see any movement, so it should be all right. <laughs> anyway, we'll find out. So what I'm doing is I'm putting uh, three six by one mil bolts, as you can see. Now they will sit in here, then they'll lock the unit together. I won't bore you with it, I'll just uh, tap, tap these uh, holes off camera and then uh, I'll show when it's bolted together. Alright, we've got our uh, R8 segment which is this part here and then we've got the fly cutter section which is on here. As you can see that's pretty well done. Uh, the only other thing now is that we've got a... On this end here, it's a 760 uh, new NF uh, thread in there, so I'll just simulate this bolt <laughs> when it goes in. There we go. That that will simulate the drawbar, so then that will be sitting up like so in the machine. Now, then what we've got is this particular unit here. All right, so that's our uh, finished product. Now, as I said, that simulates a uh, 716 new NF thread. That's where your drawbar goes in. That's your locator which goes into the uh, bridge port or whatever R8 you've got. And that is your R8 taper. Now, as I said, uh, that is the actual cutting uh, tool on there like so. Now, make sure that you've... Well, it doesn't really matter. First of all, you can have that elongated out to that second bowl, uh, bolt hole just here like so. And then that goes up to there so once they're all tightened uh, if you can notice there's uh, this piece here is facing down and that is your actual cutting edge so uh, with your tool uh, the, this this part has to go to the bottom so this this particular one is turning clockwise so the actual tool is actually a left hand tool so that when it turns it'll turn that way and it'll uh, cut your material off. Otherwise, uh, that is the R8 unit that's finished. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to take it and uh, put it into a machine and we'll try it out. Whoops, if we can hold it up, there we go. All right, we've got our, uh, well, a beautiful looking bridge port there. Very nice, as you can see. We've got our fly cutter sitting right here at the moment. We're just going to uh, try it across there and see how it goes. All right, we've got the uh, unit spinning. It's only low revs at this stage, and we've got probably about three thou to come off after touch up. So we'll just uh, do it manually at this stage, and then we can put it on motorized and see how it goes. What we're doing now is we're going to uh, we've adjusted it and I'm hoping we've got a feed rate there. I don't know what we're using at the moment. Um, what I'll do, I'll do well the slowest I can get out of it at the moment. What I'll do, I'll go up to the uh, 
the halfway mark and I'll increase it shortly to see if it makes any difference in the cut. At the moment it looks like a really shiny piece if you can see that. Well, even, even then I don't know what feed rate it is but as you can see it's doing a tremendous cut. Now that's taking off about uh, six to eight thou at the moment. And I, I don't know what sort of scale that is. It could be anything. I'll increase to see how we go. Now, by increasing, I've actually, if you can see these lines in this, I'll just decrease again. So we'll go back to our nice little shiny spot again, so it's nice and clean. But like every other cutter, it's just a matter of uh, working out the speed rate to feed and everything else, and that's it. But as you can see, that's working quite well. And as you can see, it's still a bridge port. <laughs> I haven't, uh, yep, haven't changed machines just to show you what it is. As you can see, I just uh, I slowed it down a tiny bit on the feed rate. And it's getting really beautiful uh, shine to it. Very very smooth cut. Uh, that's probably that left hand side. The last I would know about 10 mil, whatever it is. Now, I don't know what sort of steel it is, but it's a, it's holding its own. It's going really well. So that's going really well, and that's the old bridge port. 